Hello everyone, welcome back. Happy 2026. This is KJ4YZI Eric and we're continuing on this series eight years later after I've done this video series eight years ago, which things have changed, right? People are now into the hobby that weren't into the hobby eight years ago. I had 42,000 subscribers eight years ago and I have 155,000 subscribers now. So things have changed. It's time to rehash this and get you interested in other bands ex instead of sitting on the same band and doing the same thing. Hopefully this video series will get you motivated to try something else. Now, these opinions of what you hear about what I can show you on these bands, about when the bands might be open, the best time of year and the best time of day to talk, what kind of radio you would want, simple antenna designs, how easy it is to make your own dipole, and what kind of activity you would experience on that band. And the reason I say that is because I've been around those bands for you know a long time. Uh, and there's some good things, there's some bad things, there's some things that may not appeal to your style of operating. There's things that are right where you want to be. If you're a contester, or if you're a rag chewer, let's start on, let's continue on to 15 meters. And I'm going to show you about this band. 15 meters, I like to think in my head when I think of 15 meters as like a, a forgotten middle child, right? 10 meters, we started on 10 meters and 12 meters in this series, and I've worked the world on those bands and I've had so much fun, but I can't tell you I've had the most fun on 15. But I've also worked the world on bands below and above 15 meters, but what happens in between? However, during a contest, forget it. You can't get on 15 meters. It's completely booked. So what gives? And I'll show you the band plan, show you what you can do where in parts of the band, and maybe give you a little emphasis or a little Interest was the right word to get onto this band and try something new. So let's talk about 21 megahertz, the 15 meter HF band. So as I go on my rant for, um, you know, 15 meters being dead, look, I, I just turned the radio on to the lower portion down in the Riddy portion. Look at this. There is Riddy everywhere. RTTY, radio teletype, 15 meters is wide open. Look at the video after this video and you'll see I took a screenshot of several bands on what's happening with the Riddy Roundup or Radio Teletype. But let's not get off track here looking at the World Radio League band plan, 15 meters, okay? So on this band, you know, contrary to what you see on 12 and 10, each license class going higher gives you more privileges, right? That's kind of the way it works down here. You know, 10 meters, you could be a general or an extra and you have the same privilege. 12, you could be a general or an extra. You have the same privilege all across the whole band. But here on 15, notice that a general only can operate from 21.275 megahertz to 21.450. That's what I am. I'm a general since 2009. Well, let's see. Technician was 2004. General, 2009. And everybody keeps yelling at me, why aren't you an extra yet? Because I haven't run out of things to do in the hobby yet. When I run out of things to do and get bored, I'm going to use ham radio prep. I'm going to upgrade to extra. I have never needed a reason to upgrade to extra yet. I have plenty of contacts here every day as a general, but I'm not telling you to do the same thing. I'm telling you that's why I'm a general. So I can only operate from 21.275 to 21.450. An advanced, which is uh, an older, um, you know, back in the day you had, uh, you know, novice, advanced, you know, uh, on top of technician, general, and extra. So an advance gets an extra portion here, 21.225 to 21.275. And then if you're an extra, you get this here, 21.200 to 21.225. And that's just for phone, okay? If you look over here, from 21.025 to 21.2, you get all this for CW, radio teletype data, like FT8, FT4, PSK31, uh, wind link for email over radio and more, right? So what you need to notice though here is if you're a technician and you're following along and you haven't upgraded yet, but, you, but you're good at CW or you want to learn CW before you even upgrade to a general, look, we now have 21.025 to 21.20 as for, uh, is for novice and technician CW. Now I'll announce it here. A video is coming soon. I this last month, I have learned CW. Congratulations to me. I'll give myself a round of applause. I have not made a contact yet. I am still waiting until I'm proficient at my, con uh, my receiving, but I have learned to send and decode 
with characters at 18 words a minute with a little bit of spacing in between. But I am ready to get hooked on a whole nother part of this hobby. I got so much to show you about what I want to do for CW. Even got my own CW uh, go bag that has no way of doing anything of phone or anything voice except CW. Now I got a whole separate CW go bag. I can't wait to show you. But for 15, yeah, you can see that. And also, if you look down here, when we get to 40 and 80, yeah, they've given over the last, I don't know how many years it was, they've added for novice and tech to have a little bit of CW. And that's just to get you, well, you know, those people that are that are tech, wow, I got a couple extra places. And hopefully they get hooked working technician portion of 15 meters for CW only and want to upgrade to general. You know, they, they threw a little sprinkle of tech and novice only in here, which is pretty cool. So if you look at 15 meters, you get more privileges the higher your license class goes as far as phone. But you get the same privilege as a general as you do as an extra for CW, RTTY, and data. Okay, so a lot to do here in this band. But as you can tell or see, if you look at my waterfall right now, the Riddy contesting or Riddy roundup is going berserk on a lot of the bands. When that's over, you're going to hear 15 drop dead again. It's a shame. I know 15 is open every day because I'm on 15 every day with the HF Activity Group on uh, 21.383 at about 2.30 every day, uh, mostly every day, especially when I'm driving. But uh, 15, guys, get off 20 for a little bit and do your FT8 on 15 for a change. How about get off 40 at night and try 15 during the day? There is rag chews. There is contesting. There is a lot of DX. I can tell you a lot more DX than there is stateside. Okay, so just Google West Mountain Radio Dipole Calculator. It's the same calculator I used eight years ago and seems to be the first one that pops up on any Google search for Dipole Calculator. But look at the frequency and the length now for 15. As you go lower in frequency, you're going to go longer in antenna. If you remember the 10 and 12 meter videos, you know, a simple 16 foot dipole, that's eight foot plus a couple inches on each side for 10 meters, you can work the world. But for 15 meters now, if I went right in the middle, let's say 21 dot, I don't know, 250, right? Okay, so now you're going to need uh, a total antenna length of 22 feet, 0 0.2 inches. And that doesn't seem like a lot, being that my antenna right now is about 200 feet long. It's an end fed, and uh, it's out in the woods, and I don't even own the property. It's in next door it, where it goes to the tree, but it's there. And, you know, 22 feet, that's not a lot. But some people are restricted to balconies. Some people are restricted to attics. And, you know, fitting 11 feet on each leg of your dipole for the center of 15 is a little longer than 8 feet on each side, right? So you're going longer. But, for instance, if I look down here, you know, a total antenna length here for 28.5, which is in, in the phone portion, 16.42 total. And 15, you're only looking at, you know, 22. So an extra six feet. But that six feet may be the deciding factor on if you can set up an antenna in your attic or in your backyard or on your apartment balcony. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to show you. It doesn't take much to get on 15 compared to something like 160 meters. You would need 246 feet of wire. I can't fit that on my property. So, you know, here's a simple antenna calculator. And as I said before, if you want a perfect resonant antenna, you cut the dipole evenly, exactly evenly, 11 feet and 0 0.1 inches on each side, and you're going to have a perfect one-to-one -one resonant antenna with a regular one-to-one -one ballon right in the middle and get it up at least a quarter wave above the ground. So you want that ballon at least 11 feet off the ground. You know, quarter wave would be 11 feet, uh, half wave would be 22 feet not counting the little 0 0.1, 0 0.2 inches. All right, so when you talk about getting on 15 meters, Eric, what radio do I want? Well, at this point in this series, at 15 meters, if you're talking about going anywhere lower in frequency, like 17 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, you're going to need a all-in-one shack-in-the-box radio. Like I have a 7300 that will do 6 meters to 160. Um, you can get a Yaesu FT710. You can get an ICOM 705. ICOM 7610, uh, Yesu FTDX 101, uh, FT100 for those, 100D for those who remember that radio. I had one of those 15 years ago, along with an ICOM 706 
Mark II G. Guys, you can get one of those radios for 400 bucks used in really good condition with the original box and an FTDX or an FT100 or a uh, ICOM 706 Mark II G. You get everything from 160 meters to 440 megahertz. I mean, everything in between. So the only radio I could tell you that I think you may have if you've already invested into it from the previous videos, 10 and 12 meters, would be the Radiata QT80 because that also has 15 meters in it with a little jumper change and a, a one, two, three videos online on my channel. Check out the Radiata QT80. 80 watts, 10, 11, 12, and 15 meters. That's about the last radio that we'll do those for before you go into needing a commercially made, you know, everyday uh, at all the ham stores kind of radio. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't think they've ever made a 15 meter only radio. So 15 meters, get on call CQ, try to make some contacts on there, make it a purpose. If you're going to contest, make it a purpose to go there during the contest. There's a lot of room there, but it's not just for contesting. That's what I'm trying to say. I think a lot of times, the ban is dead because there's not a contest. Because when I hear somebody calling CQ and I'm mobile, I'll talk to that guy 30, 40 minutes. He might be in Europe, he might be in Canada, he might be in the United States. Nobody else is ever there. And we have a great conversation for a while. And sure enough, the next day, he's there again. And to further that, the HF QSO activity group I'm on every day, we go from 17 meters to 15 meters to 12 meters to 10 meters every day. And on 15 meters, the same guys are there and we're doing the same contacts across the same globe that we live on. So I think 15 is dead because of people choosing to not go there. You know, when you talk to somebody, they say, well, what do you do? You know, oh, you want to get on ham radio, do a lot of contacts, 20 meters in a day, 40 meters at night. Well, there's more to that. Now, last thing, when would you get on 15 meters? Well, it operates, it's kind of in between it operates a lot like 20 and can operate a lot like 17. Okay, so it, it, during the day, it can be wide open. During a contest and a good solar cycle and a good sunspot number and atmospheric conditions, you could see, I've seen it before, scrolling around on the contest weekend and at 1 a.m., 15 still open. I've seen that with 20. I've seen that with 10 meters. So it can happen. Normally, 15 is a daytime ban, but it can last into when the sun goes down, you get a couple more hours, right? Um, that that can't happen. So check out 15. Don't go by the graph on the computer that says poor conditions, because when you get on there and call CQ and three people come back to you at one time, you know that you know chart is uh, solar terrestrial, you know, suggested numbers. And I say that because I never look at that. And people tell me, oh, 10's dead, 10's dead. And I'm 40, 50 contacts deep at nine in the morning when it says 12 and 10 are no good. It doesn't make sense, right? So get on call CQ. See you in the next video on 17 meters, 7-3. Ham Radio Concepts. It's brought to you by hamradioprep.com. It's never been easier to learn about ham radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit hamradioprep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, hamradioprep.com.